Ninja Key, we just released the new hero, Corvus, which is insanely powerful, amazing, and fun to use. So obviously, we're gonna mod him and make him even crazier. Introducing Infinite Corvus. Infinite Corvus has everything available. Basically, every single spell is now free to use. So everything is free, except for the XP boost. You can't cast that. And then every other ability that has like a timer lasts 100 times longer. And everything is just kind of more powerful in general. So we're gonna see how far can we get with the insanely modded Corvus. I'm actually so excited. So right off the bat, look, I can just, I can constantly just have his spear effect on. So he literally just always has it on. Like, literally always. And every other ability, look, I can just cast, cast. Look at this. Look, at, now I just have two double Corvuses running around constantly. Oh my gosh, look at how long it lasts, too. Because it lasts 100 times as long. So, yeah, this is already going to be kind of insane. <laughs> look at him go. He's just, no balloons are even thinking about getting by right now. Like, actually none. How far do you think Corvus can get right now? Comment down below. And also, huge shout out to Dad Jane Doe for making this mod so quickly. This is literally like a day after the update came out. And so we already have mods on it. It's so good. And look at, wait, oh, now we have another one, Trample. Wait, a Stampede of Spirits. What if I cast Trample? What happens? Whoa, does it, okay. So it doesn't, wait, I can literally just always cast Trample? No way. I can always have Trample going? What? Okay, that's pretty good, actually. What would happen if I just put a tech bot, a tech bot on him? Wait, I can also use Soul Barrier, but what if I just use Nourishment? I think I want to use Nourishment as much as possible, right? Because the more I use Nourishment, the more XP that he gets. Ooh! Let's go! My mom brought me cookie dough batter stuff. Thanks, mom. <laughs> no, wait, I need, I need camo detection. Here we go. I can just hit camo detection cast. So now it just lasts forever. Wait, I can add frostbound too. Oh, wait, I have aggression. So now he grows in size. So now basically he just has everything. All right, do I want to grab banks? I need to have this now. Oh. Mm. Mm. So good. Wait, can it not pop this purple balloon? Wait, I'm in an infinite. I literally can't pop it. Okay, what if I just cast trample? Okay, if I cast trample. So I couldn't hit the purple balloon, but it was constantly pushing the purple balloon back and freezing it. So I was literally trapped in an infinite. That's crazy. Okay, I have 500. I guess I can always just use it for nourishment, right? Cast. There we go. I didn't even, I didn't even get like any XP. Like I got no XP. I have, ooh, we can use Ember now. We literally have every single spell on. Look, look at this. Okay, so now we have Ember, so now he's just dropping fire everywhere as well. So, nice. All right, let's see. I can collect $4,000, which is pretty good. Not bad at all for the bank. Yeah, let's see. Oh, no, I don't want to put a ninja down. I want Corvus to be powerful. It'll be nice when I get his meditate ability, and then I can just refresh everything. Because basically when I cast a spell, wait, no, I'm doing the same thing again. The purple balloons are, like, impossible to pop. Okay, I gotta get an MIB village. I have to admit, like, that's definitely the thing that I'm gonna have to get. Is once I get an MIB village, it's gonna be way easier. Is there any other thing that I can do? Oh, wait, look. So now I have Malevolence. Wait, there's... I can cast three of them? Wait. So if, if I cast Astral Might... So I can cast Astral Might? Wait, it's always gonna be on Astral Might now. I can't... Wait, okay, what if I dismiss that? So if I have Astral Might on, okay, so I can have, oh, whoops, I did not mean to have the Soul Barrier on. All right, I have the Soul Barrier, Soul Barrier on, which I guess is probably a good thing. Okay, let's see, that's $5,000. Yeah, I have 400, but I guess I'd rather just use Nourishment, right? He's only level seven. Oh no. All right, Moab, oh my gosh, he's so powerful. We definitely need to get to the next level. All right, I'm just gonna collect all, which is $40,000, my goodness. Okay, let's just get MIB so we have that. And now I really wanna get the refresh. So he learned Storm, which is really good. Let's see, Soul Barrier can block more. Uh, recovery, that's what I want. I want recovery. Cause his abilities last like so long. Oh, I can cast Storm now too. Oh my gosh. All right, cast, and now let's see. All right, boom. Oh wait, I sold him on accident! 
No! Corvus! Oh no, I accidentally sold him. I'm so bad. Oh my gosh. I literally accidentally sold him. Oh no, that's really embarrassing. He's back down to level three. Six, 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 for, and six? That's a lot of sixes. And then four, four, whoa, whoa. Okay, here, let's just, okay, let's just get his levels back up. We're just gonna buy his levels, okay? All right, there we go. We're like, we're, uh, wait. Oh, wait, I forgot. Oh my gosh. Wait, his abilities. I could just spam his abilities. I didn't even think about that. Holy cow, look, I can just whoop, 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 whoop. And now look at this 800. So I can just get myself mana. I didn't even think about that. I could just spam his stuff. All right, now we finally have recovery and we're back to where we were. And now I can just spam this ability too. Holy cow. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, look at this. So now we can just spam these abilities. This is not good. Okay, so we have recovery now. So we have Echo, Storm, and then... Well, what if I cast that? So if I cast that and then also Astral Might... Okay, that's probably not... So if you have Astral Might on, it, like, stays like that, right? So if I... So I can recast Recovery now. And if I cast Recovery, it, like, empties it all out. Okay, so let's use e so let's use everything. So echo, repel, haste, and also I mean trample's really fun to use, but not necessarily that important. Okay, so now what's the best three to use here? So malevolence. Wait, I don't think malevolence is that important, right? Because malevolence just does that, and that's not really that good. I'd rather have spear, and then I'd also rather have aggression. And oh man, oh are we gonna be okay here? Yeah, we're fine. And they're split, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we can also add Frostbound and Ember. And I don't think Astral Might works, right? Yeah, Astral Might doesn't work. Astral Might has a lot of stuff, though. Does it freeze the balloons in Radius? Like, does it still apply these things? It looks like it might, which is kind of wild. Oh, also, you want to cast Vision because that... I mean, it might as well have Soul Barrier, which gives us an extra 800 lives. That seems so busted. Nourishment. I mean, I guess you can use nourishment because there's no other reason to have it. Okay, level 11. So, grows in power. Yeah, permafrost. We can just keep getting some more levels because, you know, obviously we want more good levels for Corvus. Let's see. I don't know if this... I want to find what's, like, the strongest, actual strongest combination. So, Echo is so good because it creates two of them. So, obviously, all of these can be applied, right? All of those are good. That's okay, but not too crazy. Obviously, Frostbound and Ember can also be applied. And then, so is it So is it these two with Spear, Aggression, and then Storm? I think this is the strongest combination. Because you have, I mean, Ancestral Might's good, but also, can we have Trample? See, Trample's pretty cool. Because you can just constantly cast Trample, and it just, like, has them running around as well. So that might be like the play. See, I can also, look at this. I can just cast this and look at how fast he like gains his XP too. Let's see, if I just spam this and then look at his XP. I just keep going, keep getting XP. No way, okay, he's level 12. Oh wait, my banks are totally full. I was not paying attention. All right, Spirit does more damage to balloons. Malevolence does more damage and does extra damage. Ember's fire drops more often, does more damage. Corvus has increased range. The spirit does more damage to balloons. Nice. Okay. I want to learn the next... Oh, wait. We have it. So, we have overload. So, what happens if I use overload? So, if I do that, does he just, like... I can just... Look at this. I can just constantly spam overload. This is so broken. I don't know if that's really the best option. I mean, it does a ton of damage, though. All right. What if I trap it into malevolence? Oh, I totally busted it. Wait, okay, we're back. All right, we get Echo again. All right, Aggression, Ember. So it's nice because you can have all of these on and you basically just annihilate balloons. But is it the strongest combination? So if you cast Malevolence, Malevolence can't have Aggression. So you can have this, and but you can't have Ash. Oh, wait. Ooh. So you can have, you have to either choose Malevolence or Astral Might. So the spirit merges with the spell book, channeling the hand of the ancient one to do massive damage, or the spirit merges with the spell book and releases an intense balloon popping mist around Corvus. 
So which one is stronger? Is this combination stronger? I don't know. Well, we still we need to find out. So Soul Barrier can block more balloons from leaking. All right, let's see. We have 28,000. How much money goes? 31,000. Okay. All right, Corvus can haunt Moab class balloons. Trample does more damage to balloons. And wait, I can't use trample in this state either. So that's something that's important to note. I don't know how much it actually helps. All right, 10,000. So I can haunt Moab class balloons. And then spirit based damage increase and does extra damage to Moab. Astral Might does more damage. And Overlord. Overload does more damage, which is Astral Might. I'm pretty sure I'm using Astral Might. Yeah. So this, I love how it's like the two hands sitting up here. Because I think you're using Split, right? Yeah, because you're using Echo with Spear and storm so storms going on and basically nothing can get by so let's just get some stronger but like let's get a little bit of extra of everything you know wait how much money does this give me does that just give me 800 dollars? is that even worth it it gives you like such a small amount of money it feels like you know is that like a lot of money even when I'm spamming it, it doesn't seem like a crazy amount. I mean, I guess it's pretty good. I guess it is pretty good. I'm really interested to see. All right, let me put this here. Let me just go ahead and get, like, smart spikes. All right, that was pretty good. But let's see. All right, let's refresh it. Okay, this is... I'm going to recover. Oh, wait, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, so let's try the normal... Let's do the other one that we do. Echo... All right, let me just, like, refresh these. Okay. With Aggression, Storm, Repel, Haste, uh, Frostbound, Ember. I don't want Astral Might. Let's see how these work. Those, this might be a stronger combination. And I can also constantly cast Trample. Ooh, but the DDTs. See, like, the DDTs are getting a little bit further than I would like. So what happens if we use Ant Astral Might instead? Because this combo seems pretty good, but then DDTs kind of get by, right? Like the DDTs seem a little bit stronger. Oh my gosh, look at the BFBs. So I mean, I can just spam. Wait, never mind. Look at this. It doesn't hit the DDTs. Weird. Wait, what? Look at this. It's like not hitting DDTs. I'm very confused. Okay, well, is my guy running around? What happens if I get Malevolence, Spear, Storm, and also Astral Might? Is this going to work? It's weird. It, like, we ended up just losing to the DDTs, but he has camo detection. Wait, did I need to apply Vision? Is that one of the things I'm doing wrong? Okay, let's just do a recovery. And let's do Echo, Vision. Okay. And let's do this one, this one. I mean, cast everything. Frostbound. All right, because we're on 106 and there is just so much happening right now. I has two million bots, which is pretty darn good. I think this is the strongest combination that you can have for them, where you have every single spell on. So you're missing aggression and malevolence. You can't have trample on. I mean, I guess you can also have soul barrier on. And so if you have all of these spells on, and he has b uh, both Echo Astral Might on, I think this is the play. All right, let's skip some even, let's skip further. Let's go up to like round 130. This might, this might be a little too, never mind. What is so strong about him now? I mean, a little bit of everything. Okay, round 140. The, the fortified BAD, can he do it? Oh my gosh, he can! Come on, Corvus! Fortified BAD! Oh my goodness. No chance! Oh my gosh, we're doing it! Oh my, he beat round 140. That's it, everyone. That's where we're gonna end off this video with Corvus being insane with almost 10 million, and then we lose right then. Guys, that was amazing. If you enjoyed, you want to see more ultra-boosted heroes or things, hit that like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.